Hello, and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll be delving into the fascinating concept of the historical cost principle and its significance to businesses. Understanding this principle is crucial for entrepreneurs, accountants, and anyone involved in financial decision making. Before we explore its importance, let's start by understanding what the historical cost principle is. In simple terms, it states that assets and liabilities should be recorded at their original acquisition cost. Imagine you own a business and you purchase a piece of machinery. According to the historical cost principle, you would record the machinery on your balance sheet at the exact price you paid for it. This historical cost serves as a reliable and verifiable benchmark for financial reporting. So, why is the historical cost principle so important to businesses? Let's discuss a few key reasons. 1. Reliability and Objectivity one of the primary advantages of the historical cost principle is its reliability and objectivity. The original purchase price is a concrete and verifiable figure, providing accurate information about the company's financial position at a specific point in time. This ensures consistency and comparability in financial reporting. 1. Historical Context The historical cost principle allows businesses to preserve the historical context of their transactions. It captures the economic realities at the time of acquisition and provides a clear picture of the company's financial health during that period. This information is invaluable for future analysis and decision-making. 1. Simplicity and Cost-Effectiveness Another benefit of the historical cost principle is its simplicity and cost-effectiveness. Using historical costs minimizes the need for complex valuation techniques, reducing the burden of expensive and time-consuming appraisals. This makes financial reporting more accessible for businesses of all sizes. To gain further insights into this topic, we have invited, guest expert's name, a seasoned accountant with extensive knowledge of financial reporting principles. Welcome! Guest expert, thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here and shed some light on the historical cost principle. Let's move on to discussing the potential limitations or criticisms of the historical cost principle. Are there any drawbacks that businesses should be aware of? Guest expert, absolutely. While the historical cost principle has its advantages, it does have limitations. One of the main criticisms is that it fails to account for changes in the value of assets over time. In a rapidly changing economy, assets may appreciate or depreciate significantly, and the historical cost may not reflect their current market value. Fascinating. It's clear that the historical cost principle has both benefits and limitations. As the business landscape evolves, professionals are exploring alternative valuation methods to supplement the historical cost principle. Understanding the historical cost principle is crucial for businesses to maintain accurate financial records, facilitate reliable decision-making, and comply with accounting standards. While it has its limitations, the historical cost principle remains a fundamental concept in financial reporting. That's all for today's video. We hope you found it informative and gained a better understanding of the historical cost principle. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more engaging discussions. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next.